Hey friends, Akash here and I welcome you all to my YouTube dev channel and in this video we will continue coding our Vue.js chat application okay so in this video we will be coding um, profile component okay so yeah as you can see the profile component okay a simple navbar uh, with the image and logout button and a list of our peer users okay and a simple page in which we will be welcoming our user okay so as usual uh, we will be copying the template code from my github account okay simple uh, template code okay and one more thing uh, i have also pasted the styles in my styles.css file okay uh, I will drop a link to this CSS file if you want okay and one more thing we need to add this path okay so I will go and add this path uh, to the styles.css in main.js file okay Okay, so friends, as you can see, we we simply have a nav bar, okay, and within the, uh, it we have a div, okay, and we have one image and one logout button, okay, and when you will be clicking on that profile picture, you will be navigated to the profile section, okay, as per the flow, yeah, cool, okay, a logout button to. okay so below this we have our uh, list of peer users okay yeah this one okay so what we have done is we have simply traversed yeah this is our like click event okay to call a function uh, whenever we'll be clicking our peer user and a simple v4 directive to uh, traverse the array and to render the items okay and a key okay that is equals to item dot id and this vshow directive basically it will be toggling the elements display css property okay like for conditional rendering on the basis of uh, truthiness of the expression okay uh, this is because we only have to display the peer users and not ourselves in that list okay so the, the simple condition basically if item dot id is not equals to current user id then only we need to show the item okay so uh, the list will contain a simple you know image of the peer user and its name and his or her name okay so like my name and the vegeta okay okay so here what we have done is uh, simple if else directive okay again to conditionally render okay when to show which page so if we will be clicking on uh, like the peer user so the chat box will open okay like this as you can see the chat box has opened and if our peer user is null then simply the welcome screen will be opened okay okay so guys this is how we pass the props with the help of vbind directive and the key name like current peer user equals the props that we want to pass okay now let's go ahead and code the like write a simple um, only few lines in this component chat box we are not going to code it um, right now we will be coding it in the next video
okay so friends it is this is our function on profile click in this we will simply navigate to the profile section okay after this we will code our logout method and in this logout method we simply need to you know like do uh, uh, like simply call the uh, um, firebase.auth.signout okay and simply um, what we need to do is we need to navigate to the home page okay and we also need to clear our local storage okay so let's code for that okay so now let's code the let's chat what uh, i will be doing in let's chat component is it, it will be basically called when we will click on the list okay the items in the list so uh, and it and it will give us that item okay that current peer user with whom we are chatting so i will simply uh, what i will do is simply assign the current peer user equals that item okay I hope it makes sense. Okay, now friends created as you all know it's a life cycle method in Vue.js. Okay, so what we are going to do is if our user is not logged in, then we have to, you know, um, then we have to navigate him to the uh, home page or else what we will do is um, or else we will simply get the you know um, peer users okay so guys let's code get user list okay in which we are going to get our peer users so let's um, write the code
okay so friends we have resolved our that error okay that we were getting okay uh, like photo url was missing basically okay cannot read property length of undefined we do have some more errors okay so yeah uh, it is basically async operation so we need to use async of it over here where we are fetching the you know data from the collection on profile click is not defined okay so this error we get when there is a mismatch in the name on profile click okay so yeah we need p caps okay okay so cool now you can see that we have got one peer user okay uh, goku now let's simply log out and log in with goku and let's add um, his profile picture so that we get a good looking ui okay so yeah our profile is updated for goku now let's go back yeah okay so it looks cool we have our chat screen we have our peer user also vegeta that you can see let's click on vegeta okay we got nothing uh, let's see why okay okay uh, it's saying did we register the component correctly okay so let's see in the code mm, yeah so guys there is something missing when we are importing something in our component we also need to mention that component like uh, like let me uh, show you in within this component object we need to write its name okay the components that we are uh, importing basically okay now let's click on vegeta once again okay so friends as you can see now we have got the chat box component okay so this is it for this video and i hope you have liked the video so please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you stay tuned